gardening at Duenza here in Wexford, Ireland. And it's a beautiful sunny June day, the very last day in June. And I'm out here in the greenhouse and I just thought I'd bring you out here with me and show you a few things that are looking good now that I haven't covered already in, in, in other videos. So let's go and see what's interesting. Come on. Here we have the peanut cactus in flower. Gorgeous little orange thing. And as you can see, several other flowers have come and been and gone here on this plant. But the thing I love about this is that the little, um, gosh, I don't know, it makes little balls here. And you can break these off like that. The spines don't hurt you. And just put them on the ground well on the pot like that on the soil surface and they'll root and grow away so I mean it's a great one I remember playing with this when I was a kid on our nature table in school and breaking off the little bits of cactus and then um, moving them about and propagating them really so it's a great one for kids to experiment with and they won't get hurt so around the corner here we have Plumerias, frangipanis, and this is all a bit of an experiment for me now because, um, you know, they're very hard to grow here in Ireland. Um, this one here I got in, um, well, a plant swap from another guy in Ireland who does grow them, and it's supposed to have a glorious pink flower. And this second one here is supposed to be yellow and white, and I picked that up from a flower seller at the side of the road in. Um, in Italy last year. Got some white fly there. Now these went dormant for me uh, over winter and I, well it was my first winter so it was all a bit of an experiment and they have had um, spider mite but I think they're recovering now. I don't think I'm going to get flowers this year but if I can keep them alive for the time being that's the main thing. This is Epiphyllum Cooperi, and um, it was the one that turned me to films first in the first place. That's the flower there, and you can see that there's a couple of buds gone over there. Now, epiphyllums are fabulous, enormous things with flowers that last for one day, but when they flower, it makes it all worthwhile. And um, this one was grown from a cutting many years ago, so I'm delighted to see it's finally, you know. Flowering! Yay! I just want to show you a couple of seedlings I have here. Quite big seedlings really if you consider that they're this size. But this is a South American plant called Megascop... Well, look, I'm going to put the name up at the top of the screen. But, um, so this is new for me. It's tender and it's meant to be a giant and I'm dying to see the flowers on that. And up a bit further we have Trevisia palmata, which I grew from seed. And you can see how pretty the leaves are. Again, a tender that, um, well, I think it's grown for its foliage really, but it will get absolutely enormous. Must give those a water. This here is my one and only Hoya. And finally it's in flower. Look at that. I wonder, can you see it there? But there are kind of like um, drips on the flowers underneath. I don't know what that's down to. There it is. Gorgeous thing. Anyway, the story of this uh, Hoya was a friend of mine in South Africa it was very naughty, and I'm not recommending this in any way, but she dug up a piece from her garden and put it in an envelope and sent it to me. <laughs> and I've had it for a few years, but this is the first time that it's flowered. I can't actually get the scent from here because it's a good bit back but um, Hoyas are meant to be beautifully scented so I'll have to stick my nose into it in a minute. So that's the Hoya. Now let's have a look over here. And finally let's have a look at this fern. Now this fern has been in a couple of uh, videos we've done but I've never talked about it before. And I'm not big on ferns and the names are really hard to remember. But this fella has going for it the fact that it likes sun and it likes well-drained soil. 
and I am trying to pull the label out but I can't okay I'm gonna to have to put the name up above on the screen but um, it's a fern that sits very well on my sunny display and just adds a bit of an extra foliage um, uh, interest to to the whole thing okay so that's my uh, video on well other interesting things in the greenhouse that I haven't covered so far <sighs> I didn't get to everything, but I got to enough for the moment, I think. Now I'd better sign off and go water those poor Trevisias that were very thirsty looking. So thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe and um, check back in again soon. That's all for now. Bye.